that is deep. You know, she's been being for a long time. Since a kid, she's been being bro. You know, uh... On The Cosby Show, you were the world's sweetheart. Raven has been performing in front of 44 million people since she was three years old. There's so much pressure to be feminine beauty. Oh, you look very attractive tonight. Thank you. There's a lot of rules in place. How cute can you be? How sexy can you be without showing my sex? I knew that this can't be talked about. What happened to Raven on The Cosby Show? I just black out. I would appreciate it if it will not appear anywhere. I didn't want to tell my parents. I knew I couldn't say it out loud, but that eats at your soul. That eats at your soul. The revelations surrounding Raven Simon suggest she was allegedly pressured into distressing situations while still under her Disney contract. Orlando Brown has brought attention to these claims indicating Raven was subjected to mistreatment, including an unhealthy diet regimen aimed at making her more appealing to viewers. Raven herself has recounted being thrust into the Hollywood lifestyle at just seven years old by her parents, an experience that profoundly impacted her. This early exposure also involved disturbing demands in pursuit of stardom, leading Raven to eventually walk away from the industry at the peak of her career. Before her breakout on Disney's That's So Raven, she had already appeared in The Cosby Show as Bill Cosby's step-granddaughter and in Hanging with Mr. Cooper as Nickel Lee. Despite achieving success with the Cheetah Girls and music releases under Disney, Raven has spoken out about executives pressuring her to manage her weight from a very young age, even denying her food on set during grueling 12-hour workdays. These experiences deeply affected her, highlighting the harsh realities she faced in the entertainment industry. I wish I was living now <laughs> as, a younger as a younger person, I probably wouldn't have so many mental issues. Throughout your life, your, your career, the things that were said to you, do you remember anything in particular that sort of haunts you that someone said to you at an early age about the way you look that still affects you today? I was too big to be doing an hour and a half concert. Mm. I don't know how she can dance being that big. Wow. And I was like, and I still did it. I went on tour forever because it's not about your size. It's about what you have to say, if you can sing or dance and performing. It's not about your size. But that wasn't the extent of it. She was also compelled to conceal her sexuality to maintain accessibility to male viewers, effectively coercing Raven into secrecy and pushing her to date men to avoid arousing suspicions. Likeness, whether you see it in an interview, whether you see it on print, whether you see it, however you see it at that time, had 15 people dictating what I should and should not look like. If I did whatever I want, I'm not gonna sell because it doesn't go with the brand. I was branded at such a young age. And then you wonder why all of these child stars have these issues. You were not allowing them to grow up as human beings. You were stifling them at the youngest and most important development age of their time. And then you expect them to be normal later. I never thought I would ever come out. I never thought I would come out because my personal life didn't matter. It was only what was supposed to be sold as, you know, the Raven Simone friend. So it was something that I always thought in my head, uh, I'll always have a friend. I'll have a husband and I'll have a friend on the side so I can be happy. So I can have both, you know, taken care of. I get this, you get the beard, you get whatever. That didn't last. I don't care anymore because I fell in love. And I was kind of over the industry, I wanted to retire. For those unfamiliar, one of the men Raven dated to conceal her sexuality and appeal more to male audiences was Orlando Brown. They co-starred in That's So Raven together. And in 2016, when asked about this, Orlando had the following to say. Well, speaking, speaking of Raven and Mickey Mouse, you had that line and no fear. Yeah. You know what line I'm talking about? And yeah, tell Minnie Mouse to tell Minnie Mouse to suck my sack like Raven did when she was black. When you hear that rat a tat, I suggest you. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. Well, I meant just that. Just that. Just that. Yeah. So, you know? what do you mean to say, like Raven did when she was black? I mean, I told you in the first interview. I mean, she gave me, and then I gave her some. Despite Orlando's reluctance to discuss his relationship with Raven, he has been vocal about how the entertainment industry exploits underage individuals, coercing them into participating in troubling activities. 
Raven has been rumored to have experienced some of these exploitative practices firsthand, which Orlando eventually confirmed during an interview with Cam Capone News. He disclosed witnessing disturbing occurrences in the industry that profoundly affected him. The things that will make you buckle, bro. They make you buckle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah, cause man, people done lost their families, bro. People done lost their kids and shit. People, people, uh, people, a uh, lot of stuff. Orlando continued, asserting that the entertainment industry gets away with exploiting child stars like Raven because their parents often condoned and facilitated in exchange for financial gain. Seeing the substantial income their children generate, these parents turn a blind eye to the industry's exploitation and allow it to continue unchecked. Shipping and trafficking and people, adults, the moms, the dads, right there on Target commercials, right there on Walmart commercials. And you're looking at the people that are missing and they're smiling like they're happy, but they're going back to hell. Uh, you know, I just think that, you know, people just need to realize what they're looking at when they're watching the television. Everything is right in front of you. The revolution was televised and don't nobody give a shit. Even more troubling is that Orlando is not the first to denounce the exploitation of child stars in Hollywood. Other celebrities, like Corey Feldman, who also faced significant challenges after starting as a child star, have spoken out about this issue in the past. Unfortunately, like Orlando, they often face dismissal or criticism, being labeled as crazy for bringing attention to these serious concerns. Seeing that there are people that were the people that did this to both me and Corey yeah. that are still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. And they are. And they do not want me saying what I'm saying right now. Are, are you saying that they're pet? Yes. And that yes. they're still in this business? Yes. Furthermore, they are actively trying to prevent me from sharing what I'm saying right now. Are you implying they're controlling me? Yes, they are still in this business. Similar to Orlando, Corey Feldman's allegations were dismissed and disregarded, often attributed to his addiction and dismissed as attention-seeking behavior. In 2020, he released a documentary titled My Truth, naming individuals who allegedly assaulted him, including actor Charlie Sheen and talent manager Marty Weiss. These claims were corroborated by Corey's ex-wife, Susie Feldman, and his Lost Boys castmate, Jameson Newlander, who witnessed some of the incidents. Returning to Raven, she made headlines again a few years ago when revelations about Bill Cosby emerged, accusing him of sexual assault against numerous women in the industry, including minors. Given Raven's past involvement in The Cosby Show before her Disney career, speculation arose about whether she might have been a victim as well. Raven addressed these rumors on Instagram, stating unequivocally, I was not taken advantage of by Mr. Cosby when I was on The Cosby Show. She emphasized that she was young during her time on the show and expressed disgust at the rumors asserting that everyone on the set treated her with kindness. However, many doubted the authenticity of her statement, believing it was crafted by her team, rather than reflecting Raven's true feelings. Critics pointed out inconsistencies, noting that Raven had previously criticized the show for pressuring her to undergo extreme weight loss at a very young age. Adding to the controversy, Orlando Brown recently spoke out in an explosive interview with Real Life Productions, claiming a long-standing feud with Raven. He accused her of attempting to silence him for exposing her traumatic experiences online, even alleging she tried to harm him and kidnap his children. We went through a lot, bro. She been trying to kill me, she kidnapped my kids, all kind of She been doing some So it's kind of hard for her to come out and everybody knows she's been doing for so long. Um, he continued by revealing a shocking allegation. Raven had allegedly been exploited in the entertainment industry since childhood, with her family reportedly complicit, overseeing her being circulated like an escort among industry figures. I would love to hear Raven's truth of her perception of yeah, her. Yeah, that is deep. You know, she's been being prostituted for a long time, since a kid. 
she been being prostituted, bro. You know, uh, her mom, dad, nobody give a fuck about her, bro. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares, bro. It's unclear where Orlando gathered this information, but it's worth noting he and Raven had a PR relationship at one point, giving him insight into her life. They co-starred on a TV show and stayed in touch until Orlando faced substance addiction issues. The industry's treatment of Raven is disturbing, and Orlando is unafraid to speak out, prompting varied reactions. Some believe his claims are rooted in truth beneath the sensationalism, highlighting systemic issues in entertainment. Others criticize him for airing personal details without Raven's consent, suggesting it's her story to share when ready. What are your thoughts on Orlando exposing these issues? Do you believe Raven was exploited as he suggests? Share your thoughts below and watch the linked video for more insights.